And as we get to the 5 o'clock hour, we're expecting an announcement shortly from Denver Public School Board member Tay Anderson. In a moment, he's expected to announce that he will resume his day-to-day -day duties for the state's largest school district despite allegations of sexual misconduct. Now, Nine wants to know investigator Kevin Vaughn joining us. And so Anderson initially said that, you know, he's going to wait for this investigation to be complete before returning. So what, what's changing? He did say that. The investigation started in April. In mid-May, the district said they thought they needed 30 more days to wrap it up. We've gone through June and now we're into mid-July and it hasn't wrapped up. So he said that he believes the investigation is bogged down. It's gone into new areas and it's been long enough and he's going to go back to work. So it's up to him. The board doesn't have much say in, in his status. The board does not. He's an elected official. They can't suspend him. They can't kick him off the board. Um, it's his decision. It was his decision to step away and it's his decision to go back. What about the investigation that's been lingering for months now? What can the board do to like get that moving? The board can't really do anything. They set up this they, this independent investigation and they told that group that's handling to, to go off and do your work, go where it leads and come back when you're done. And but so I they can't, can't speed it up. They can't get process. it ended. It's so going to run its course. We'll see what he has to say as uh, we're expecting that news conference any minute. Kevin, thanks for the latest.